over there, Witcher. You looking for work by any chance? Suits say it's all but the truth. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. This Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, master. That's just a bit high, master. That's just a bit high, master. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over, got my word on that. Working. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. I don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kevilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muira Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Look on well. Go, go. <laughs> Another victim. Drowners 
is for sure. Lair must be nearby. again. Slime and rotting flesh. <coughs> A pelvis. Scratched up. Long, wide claw marks. of armor falling apart in my hands. <coughs> a monster's lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent.
That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats. I've always wondered, Slower. what do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, nations, or giants around, eh? Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moray's, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. No such From thing as bad on. ships in my weather. Only worthless fucking. Oh, you ain't fucking me. Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Uh -huh. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I should pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. Oh, raining again. Good and true here. Should be so beyond. May she serve our king worthily. One day we'll meet again. As we'll all meet King Bran, the feast of his people, and sing his peace.
respect, Witcher. Ran of Clan Twisak, our valiant king. Red as our landers are welcome to try to. Glory and honor range every which way. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhard said, Megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. To Saya de Vries, the poisoned source, still turns to it for inspiration. That's not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... <laughs> Who exactly is she to me? I heard Grey Inga augured your son's future. Aye. Swinging it, eh? Respect, Witcher.
Let us pay homage to the son of Pantwist. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Did you sever his hair? Head of a giant on your mantle. Now that's a decoration. So, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot we ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melissa. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. May your axe never crumble. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lugas, madman Lugas' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feet are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. 
What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Shall we put some coin on it, Lugos? Actually, dog shit idea. You never feel it. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. Not it likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fjald bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Oh, 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 oh,
that one of them came back alive. Crosses God, my sword, hold it! Pass me the bar. Down in the mug. Fist his fucking gob. Make him choke on his teeth already. Cross the waves of the seas. That's true. Bow in the mug. Fist his fucking gob. Make him choke on his teeth already. Had enough? Ah, ah, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! To Jarl Madman Lugos and his madness. <laughs> Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> this will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it.
Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially when a dear man must be a real Please. nature lover. Looks alive. Yes? A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. Are you alright? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals. They're alive. Yen, watch out! Monsters. Can feel them. Come closer. They're everywhere. That's one less. Strange. Smells of mushrooms in here. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah. Letter bearing Ermion's seal to the Druids warns them about you, that brazen manipulator. <laughs> the shameless schemer. Gallagher's tales about the wild Wondrous hunt. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography enhanced. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Hermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. <sighs> It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Need something else. Gotta look around. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. 
The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. <sighs> Damn. I tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. So, please, I'll enchant a needle. <laughs> Kraken creates asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. No, heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beard, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forth. Thank you. 
son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man, a woman, win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her own. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ard Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion. But I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Right unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My child. My lass. You remember, Ceres? Well, recently she declared she must set off on an adventure. To bolster her chances of winning Skellige's crown. Got it in her head that Ulderic is not mad, but cursed. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Mad Mad Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Are her brother, yet confronted by a professional 
who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. I'll talk to Ceres. Count on it. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger? You've got the heart of an Uncrate. Sorry, remind me. Where'd Ceres go? Speakerog. Got it in her head that she must help Uderic. How? I have the same question. He's a brave man. Some say hot-tempered and hasty, but... If Ceres wanted glory, she'd have done better to sail with Yalmar. As it is, who knows what ideas bat about in her head. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. See ya, Crack. They smear your ass with honey yet here. Brambles. Hi. How are things on Pharaoh? There is always. It's pissing buckets and fucking freezing. See, you're bursting with pride. No use cutting the sea shit with honey. Pharaoh is a rock overgrown with pines, but with no need for more. Can't eat pine wood. But use it to build a long ship. And you'll eat your fill of what others have grown and bred. After you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their homes to the ground. That's how Clan Dimon lives. Farewell. I've no so, time for you. There's truth to that blather by the Ice Giant. <laughs> it's simply not fitting to repeat such rubbish at... Greetings, Geralt. <laughs> With Bran gone, by my count, that makes you the eldest of the Jarls. Aye, it does. But I trust it'll not be for long. Ah, not like any of the others stand out, age you? Nay, but I'll gladly pass the honor to the next in line. I've lived my fill, steeped my hand in the blood of foes, felt the warmth of the southern sun and the bite of the northern winds, the touch of women of the east and west. Now, I wish to die a death worthy of song. What's new on Hindersfjall? New? Lofoten lies in ruins. The garden has been devastated. <laughs> and now we must deal with an Ulfoden. In short, everything's grand. Farewell. <laughs> yes, Witcher? You know their cure? Well, what is it? Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Oncrete seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple. That was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of Crack and his brood yet. Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? That's one. Farewell, Lucas. <laughs> May your axe never crumble. You're mad, woman! <laughs> mad, 
I say? Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So... no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief! Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Kroch turned to us for help, and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No! Jennifer's used the mask. Unicorns. Damn it, Yana. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Ah! 
I learned this at Brenner. Well, ready? Use the mask. Watch out! <laughs> What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking. But don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Don the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come! Yes? Well, ready? You... Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace pass leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what Krach has to say about this! Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Vision, he went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Oh, the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? 
I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. <sighs> it is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durren, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Can we talk? The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations in streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yeah, glad to play around. Okay. 
Congratulations. You have a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You have a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge Krach. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Bremist, a vile character, but undeniably talented. What do you want now? I taught you all I know. Gwent, ever play the game? If your question is, would I be interested in playing you? The answer is simple. No. Afraid of losing? I understand. Very well. I drive your deck. Win, and I'll give you my best card. I believe you're ready to challenge Madman Lugos. I do wonder if he'll agree to play you for his catacan. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Me little Lorgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Who's that? Killing that vermin.
good. You know what, Wolf? I've this rare card here. Take it. It'll be of more use to you. Thanks. You might consider challenging a man in Kertrolder village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Just as his name. I've always wondered, what'll you witchers do once there are no hey, battles to lash them? I want you to sew these rags together for me. The fabrics? Greetings. Smooth seas this morn. As if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Any chance you play Gwent? Oh, aye. It's a great passion. Wanna play? I'm ready. Let's do this.
Bravo. A grand win. Congratulations. Special today. I've always wondered, what do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, nations, or giants around? Eh? Well, what is it? Gwent, know the game? The gulls shed off cliffs? Let's see your duck. It's been a dull day. We'll play for my catacomb. Show me what you can do. Got ye. But then they'd say Lugos had gone even madder. Take my katakana sword off. 